All right, this is a great question. So I mentioned how the Costco rotisserie chicken and the Sprouts rotisserie chicken both had zero grams of sugar per serving. The Costco one has some sugar on the label as well as some starches, and the Sprouts one also has some sugar. How can they be zero grams of sugar per serving? Two things. So the first thing, um, what's actually included in the grams of sugar on a nutrition label? So that would include monosaccharides like glucose and fructose, which are just one sugar molecule, and then you have disaccharides, which are two sugar molecules. Um, so sucrose and lactose are examples of that. So these are the things that would be included in the grams of sugar on a nutrition label. Now polysaccharides, which are more than two sugar molecules, would not be counted in the grams of sugar on the label. This is counted in the carbohydrates. So starches like potato starch and tapioca starch would not be included in the grams of sugar on the label. Those are included in the carbohydrates. All right, so now the second thing. So how do both of these products have uh, starches and or sugars but list zero grams of sugar and zero grams of carbohydrates per serving on the label. So the seasoning is gonna be at a very low percentage on the chicken, and then these ingredients were at the end of the ingredient deck, so they're gonna be at a low percentage in the seasoning. So it ends up at a very small percentage of the finished product, and so it ends up being less than 0.5 grams of sugar and less than 0.5 grams of carbohydrates per serving, and that can be rounded to zero grams per serving on the label. So both of these products have less than 0.5 grams of sugar per serving, and if you remember back to that video, he was claiming one of them is filled with sugar and one only has a little bit of sugar, when in reality, they both have a little bit of sugar.